Have you ever wanted to know how you can create ores from stone? Hey, what's up guys? Flurpolder here, and welcome back to another Minecraft How to Skybounds. I've been a little bit lazy posting videos of this kind of recently, so, uh, well, at least the past couple of days, but we are back. And uh, in the last video, I showed you guys a beautiful cacti farm, which since then I have improved by a lovely comment down below, which said to put some ice there so that I lose less cacti, which is actually smart because if you see, let me throw some piece of wood, watch the wood, it slides so fast, I didn't actually know that, I think I saw that at one point uh, somewhere and I completely slipped my mind. But it slides much faster. Actually, there was cacti. I could have watched that. But yeah, and then I can just grab it up. Easy peasy. Still not that good for profit. I'm now realizing this. I still think sugarcane is the way to go. I made like so much stars off of this. But I guess not so much. But yeah, anyways. In the last video, I said, hey guys, we're gonna 10 likes or something like that. And we're gonna show you guys enchanting. Unfortunately, I'm now realizing I kind of can't do that. Oh, I gotta do slash eat, not slash whatever I typed in. Um, because first of all, I have to complete the quest, which does take some time, and I am going to show you guys how to do that, for sure, because that is a quest that is, I guess it's not too difficult, but before that, I do need to save up some stars to get a mob grinder, which is going to be a video on its own as well, so I decided, instead of doing that, and because I also need money, today, we're going to be showing off an ore seed farm. That is probably the best thing you can have in Skybounds, or a pretty early game. This is the one I started using in, I think at the end of TFI Season 1 and pretty close to the beginning of Season 2. And then eventually I changed it up once you get enchanting, you get stonemason, upgrade this. It's pretty fancy, so if you guys enjoy this video and learn from it, remember to smash a like on it and let's get right into it. So as you can see, I've kind of started the base of it. I kind of completely forgot that I needed to record this, but I was like, eh, whatever, I'll just continue. At least you guys can get the basics and uh, it won't matter too much. So basically, you want to make a, obviously, an outline. I think you can make it really as big as you want. I went for like, uh, I think it's like 15 by 15. Uh, I don't know why. I was just like, yeah, sure that works because I'm working on limited island space here because it is, oh wait, no, it's, it's just a premium island. What? Oh. Huh. I definitely, oh, I think it's just the, okay, my bad. Uh, so, I am a little bit dumb. I thought that the, um, what is it, the island template I picked would make it, like, a smaller island, but it doesn't do that. Okay, so I don't have limited space. That's good to know. Anyway, so what you want to do is make an area like this. So, my cat's tearing things up. Tabby, stop it, please. I'm trying to, Tabby, Tabby, Tabby. Anyways, we're gonna ignore that. Um, so you wanna make like a little platform here. You can make it out of anything. I would recommend wood. I actually didn't do that on any of my designs, but wood's probably the best because if you use crush or, you know, anything with high efficiency, you're not gonna crush the wood and destroy it where you would everything else, pretty much. Okay, cool. So yeah, you wanna make it out of wood, probably. I mean, you can make it out of whatever. It's just your call, but you know, it's just my suggestion. Uh, and you want to make the platform, obviously, and I'll get into the next steps once I've actually finished this, because, you know, I thought I'd be finished by now. I mean, why would I think that? Okay, so we now just finished the flooring, which is where all the beautiful ores and stone is going to be. I actually need a way out of here. I now realize this. I think right here will be good. Is that even? Pretty sure that's even. I'll check later. So, I actually think that is. Perfect. Uh, so what you want to do is go down, like, right here it's just right here and you want to make like a little outline here and actually i could probably use well i can't get out this way i need to make, i need to work on a better design to be honest i think i saw this design and i was like oh i think i can copy that essentially um but like you can't really get out efficiently which kind of sucks so that that's that's a little bit not fun but i mean at least it works I guess it doesn't matter once you get stone mason this will be pointless you don't need to worry about this this is just this is just here at that point the cat's still tearing things up that's fantastic so we got the outline which what we're gonna do is put water in there but before i do that i'm gonna go and get to the next step which you need some things so you will need some stars to do this to set it up you need some redstone stuff what you're gonna need is 
I don't know how many, but you'll need... I'm gonna go with... Five? I'm gonna go with five for now. We need five dispensers. I'm gonna go and go with, like, a stack of redstone. Uh... I don't know how much I'll need of everything. And I'll need a button. Which I can go ahead and do right now. So we got a button. I'm gonna go up a couple. By a couple, I mean, like, right here. And then I'll go here. Alright, and then you want to build, like, a little platform. I guess you technically don't need, like, a platform platform. But I'm going to build a platform because that's just what I've always done. It just makes it easier, in my opinion, because you can have all the redstone, go freely. This all makes sense eventually. The redstone, it's nothing too complicated, so you do not have to worry about that. How do you... Do I have to throw you outside? My god. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this platform, and I'll see you guys in the next step. Alright, so we just finished the top platform here. The next thing you want to do is actually go down below, and you want to kind of figure out where you want to put lava buckets. So, I'm thinking, uh, maybe right about here would be one. I think that would be a good area for one. So, I'm going to go ahead and put a dispenser right there, and then I'll do the same there. Where's that axe? I kind of want to make that. I was going to say, I'm not going to make it even, but I'm going to try, so it's like... From here, one, two, three out. Okay, we'll do that on each one, and then I'll put like a middle point. So one, two, three, and put that in there, and then from over here, one, two, three. That one, this should be good, almost there, and then one, two, three. Easy peasy, and then you want to find like about a middle point, which I don't think there's a full middle point, so I'm just gonna go like right here. I guess I could put another one in right there, but it'd be pointless. So there's your little things. Then what you want to do, obviously, is you need some lava to go into that. So, you know, just go to your handy candy shop and buy three, four, five. Five buckets of lava and throw them all in there like this. Like that. Like that. Like that as well. And like that. Okay. So there's all the lava done. Next thing. You obviously got to put the redstone in. So if you put a button, let's say I put, I'll put it right. I'll put it actually above this, above the entrance. All right, yeah, I should have probably got a stone button, but I'm, I'm just too lazy, man. I don't even have furnaces set up on my island. I realize this. Or no, do I? I think I have like one. I actually don't know. Maybe eventually I'll do a uh, auto smelter system in case, because there is there is a thing a mission. I gotta actually see what level it is. You can get a auto smelter in general. But I can show you guys how to make a auto smelter in case you don't have that challenge done yet. So this is right here. So this is where the first redstone will go. This might cover all the way. I'm going to test it. I guess I'll just throw the redstone on it and then I can test it afterwards and be like, yeah, it works. Or no, it doesn't work. We'll find out because I'm too lazy to actually. Uh... Okay, yeah, it all works. And then pick that lava back up. Hopefully it's all good. Oh, good. It didn't even go down. That's perfect. Okay, so that all works. I don't have to do any extending. Redstone's done. Easy peasy. Didn't even need anything complicated. I actually didn't need that much redstone. But you know what? I don't care. The next step is just the water. Easy part. And then you're pretty much done with this. Like, this is this is actually just it. Uh, I don't have any ore seeds, unfortunately, to show you guys how this can work. I wish I did, but I don't. Have any oh, I don't have anything at all. Dang, feels bad. Oh, I had wood. I could have well, I could have saved from anyways. Um, so what am I looking for again? Uh oh yeah, I needed water. I was I was looking in there in case I had more seed. My bad. Oh, let me get out of here. Okay. So let's go over here. We're gonna put down the water, which is the next step, and I'll show you guys at least how this works in general. It can double up as a stone generator, which is actually what I did. And I don't know. I guess I'll just leave that there. I guess it won't be too bad so you want to just spread the water out which is kind of annoying if you don't have um what's it called if you don't have uh oh god i can't remember the name of it actually i don't think it's that bad you only have to get it a little bit you don't have to get it all the way i don't think but it's still annoying if you don't have um oh god i can't depth strider that's what it's called because it does kind of just like fill out as you go along which you need a because if you didn't know because i actually didn't know this until skybound basically <laughs> uh but you can actually make smooth stone in minecraft of course without silk touch you can't really uh, pick it up but i think that's really cool i actually didn't know this like i really didn't know that you could do that so i feel smart uh so this is almost filled out we just gotta put down a couple more bits of water 
think that's it. It should be all flat, and I think the sides should be fine. I think it should be. So what you do is you would just push this, and hopefully that'll create all stone here. I'm not sure if spots will be missed or not. It should be fine. Hopefully, I might have made it too big compared to where the lava is. I can always just add more, but I'm hoping that this will just be fine. Maybe not. It's probably not. I'll probably have to add more because I think that's about as far as it'll reach. Yeah, I think there's still going to be some spots here and there. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to adjust this probably. Figure out where I can put more, more lava. So let me go on to the shop. Let me buy... How many do I need? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight about? Need like eight of those. Okay, well, we got some shopping to do. So let's go into here. Not here. Let's go into here. Not that. Uh, hang on. Messing up everything. Dispensers. Let me do that. So we'll just buy seven of these now. So I didn't click confirm. My bad. I'm not used to this. I should be by now, but I'm bad at life. So we got eight of those, so we'll put them about right here. That should be... Actually, I'm going to move it over one... Oh, would that be a good idea? Yeah, that'll be fine. I think. I think that'll be fine, because the lava will go out here, so yeah, it should be fine. As long as it's not right here, then I should be fine, because I don't want the lava to go under this edge. And then right here should be fine and then i'll do that all the way around and i will see you guys in a second when we're ready to actually test this so we just finished filling all the dispensers everything has lava now so if i push this button oh wait that's only gonna act oh because it was red oh whoops hang on oh that destroyed my button oh uh hang on <clears throat> just uh just just you know just testing just just testing oh yeah and that's gonna go there but that should be fine I don't stand there. Should be fine. <laughs> so let me go back up here. I gotta put down the redstone again, and I totally forgot I'm gonna have to put it in the other areas. My bad. Uh, so I would go here, and hopefully this actually reaches the new areas. It should, I think. Yeah, I think it should be able to reach these. Hopefully I won't have to put any. I think I will, because I think this is the same design I did before on like TFI. So I'd probably have to reach those. Oh yeah, I gotta put my button down. Oh, wait, no, that's going to destroy my button every time. Uh, but that's fine. I can fix that by putting my button here. Didn't do that one. Out of every single one. Okay, I didn't do those back ones. I did this one, though. What? Hello? Logic? All right, I'm going to have to tinker with this a little bit. I'm sorry. I uh, thought this would work. Oh, wait, I should push the button again. Pick up my level. Oh, wait. That's why I didn't put lava in that one. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. So that one should work. I don't know why this one, like, it, it's it's the same way each way. I don't know why this one works, but that one doesn't. It's just, I don't know. This should be the final time we have to jump up there and fix this. It should be fine. Wait, how did that happen? Did I, oh, yeah, I did break a block, didn't I? My bad. I was kind of puzzled there. This is just... This has not gone exactly how I wanted it to, but you know what? It's fine because everything should be good. That's all you gotta do. All the redstone should work. I could have probably just done one, but you know what? I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. So if we push this now, every single lava is lit up. Everything should become stone, and now I'm realizing this is a bad idea uh, because that lava is gonna get out. I think there's a way I can fix that, but you know what? I'm too lazy right now. Uh, I'll figure something out there, but for now, it all works. You just click that again. I mean, the only other... I don't, hmm. I'm gonna try moving that in one. I'll probably mess with this a little bit, if and if I, uh... Eh, eh, eh. Later down the line, I'll probably do a recap, or do... I'll probably do some other kind of video. Maybe when I do my, um... What's it called? My tutorial... Actually, I don't really need a tutorial on how to do the stonemason one. Because the stonemason one, it's pretty much this, but you don't need water. You just place down a... a I'd say like a little uh, platform, obviously, a border, and then put down just stone, and then have stone mason 10 is the best way to do it, because once you break it, every time you break stone, it becomes stone again, which is awesome. So now I'm going to show you guys how this works. I do have crush, which is perfect, 
Fortunately, it's not max level crush. So as you can see, as I break the sides, water starts coming in. I would recommend, obviously, saving the sides for last. Of course, I just don't care in this situation. Um, but the one downside about this is, especially if you don't have Depth Strider, you have to break every single piece of stone before you can activate your gen efficiently again. So what you want to do is obviously, you know, break all the stone. And as you can see right now, I'm getting a lot of cobblestone and it's super easy. It's super non-annoying. I'm going to go ahead and plug these up for now just so I don't have to deal with water because I don't have Depth Strider at all. And uh, it gets you some gold, some iron, different things like that depending on your pickaxe level, which is also a good way to get a little bit of stuff. And you can put some redstone blocks, which I'm going to put them around here eventually for the ore seeds. But unfortunately, I don't have the ore seeds themselves, which kind of sucks. I'm actually going to go and do the redstone part. So let me go workbench. I can craft some of these up. No, it's eight. Whoops. Uh, so I got to go like this. This is I can only craft one block. Well... There you go, guys. The one redstone block. So you put redstone blocks on around if you don't know how ore seed works. Uh, it's like little glass, like stained glass. It'll be called like iron ore seed, gold ore seed, stuff like that. You place it on top of this and all st clean stone in the area slowly becomes ore seed or ores. So I'm going to go ahead, mine this, ugh, sorry about that. mine this all up, and then I'll activate this again and show you it working again. I should say that this is an annoying part because all you do is just kind of... Uh, yeah, you gotta go through the water. I guess it's not as bad as it would be going through the other parts because it's not pushing you as much since you're kind of just going in this direction. And this is where the struggle comes. I guess the way you can get out is is leave one or you can just place down a piece of cobble and break it. But then, you know, that's lost. So I guess, oh, I forgot. You can also get uh, these from it. So that's cool. But uh, then you, all you gotta, oops. Well, I guess I opened it. So that's, uh, that's a thing. So this is good for like ores. Oh no, I need this. What is it? Challenge XP? Let's go. Hey, level up. Let's go. Wait, uh, that's not supposed to be there. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's not supposed to be there at all. Oh, so yeah, you do need the border. That's why I did that because I didn't have the border there. Uh, my freaking bad. Okay, so yeah, um, maybe I could do a slab there. I'm gonna test this real quick instead of, like, testing it later. So I'm gonna put a slab there. I was gonna do slash eat, but I'll just do workbench because then I gotta wait a little bit. So if I put a slab here, can I jump over that? You actually can. It's a little bit annoying, but at least you have a way out so you don't have to place a block down and then break it. You can just put a slab there, and then if I dispense the lava, it'll come down and it won't go over the slab, thankfully. So you can get uh, ancient runes, legendary relics, and immortal stones, which are absolutely insane. Love them. Amazing openables. I have something unseen at my island drop zone that I need to go see real quick. I actually want to see what level 13 reward is. I completely forget. But I want to go ahead and wait for this lava to clear up so you guys can see the beautiful thing. Like, you can already see the stone. And then if I break this again, it'll just keep repeating. Over and over. It's endless stone. It's very good. I was going to do like a cobblestone generator or a stone generator or something. Well, I guess just a cobblestone generator. Uh, one that I used on... What is it on steampunk but honestly there's not really a reason to because it's just it, that one's just more efficient you want to just do that one honestly so what do we get we get an all item xp booster we still have sheep in here pigs in here and this stuff that i just couldn't be bothered to deal with to be honest so yeah but that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys did enjoy hope it was helpful in uh, learning how to make a ore seed slash stone generator here it's honestly a good way to make some stars if you have some ore seeds. It's a pretty simple design, honestly. I think there's more. there could be more complex ones and uh, stuff like that. I really think you want to get stonemason, though, no matter if you have this. I actually tore mine down on Steampunk and set up a stonemason one. Because stonemason is such, like, so much more efficient. You don't need redstone, don't need this platform. All you do is, like, basically, I would mine this up and it would become stone again. And then... If it was an ore and I had an ore seed, it could become an ore seed again. So honestly, so much better. You want to get stone mason 10 if you can on your pickaxe. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, if you smash a like on it, subscribe if you're new to the channel for more How to Skybounds and other Minecraft content like that. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.